Attaining lasting wealth is a conscious decision, and so is choosing mediocrity. The roots of success and failure are found in numerous small decisions that you make each and every day about how you're spending your precious energy and time. Are the steps you are taking today moving you in the right direction? Making a decision on a long-term goal is relatively straightforward. It's just a matter of committing yourself to a mission of achieving a six-figure income or losing weight, whatever it might be. The challenge lies in all of the many choices that follow on after the euphoria of that initial decision has been made. It may be hard to maintain that constant focus on your North Star, day in and day out, if you're not able to identify the intrinsic motivation for the goal that you have set for yourself. It's easy to justify exceptions for almost every scenario. You tell yourself that you're not going to drink sugary soda or eat other junk food, except that you're at the movies and really would enjoy having a big soda drink to wash down that buttery popcorn. You tell yourself that you're going to exercise each day, but then again, you had quite a tough time at the office today and need to just take it easy for the rest of the evening. You tell yourself that you're going to watch your personal spending, but you also need some really, really retail therapy in order to make yourself feel better. You can tell yourself whatever story you want, but justifications won't move you closer towards your goals. You must ask yourself if your daily decisions are aligning with the words that you've told yourself about how you're going to live your life and attain your goals. Are the steps you are taking each day bringing you closer to the goals and vision for yourself that you have, that one that you've outlined in all of your dreams? Or are you falling into that tired rut that all too many of us become mired in, in going through the motions without a thought as to how we're affecting our long-term growth and development? Without a system or team in place to help yourself be accountable, it's all too easy to fall into the lazy habits and base your decision making around what makes you feel comfortable immediately rather than what will provide you with the greatest satisfaction possible in the long term. Research has consistently demonstrated that the singular trait shared by top performers across numerous disciplines is decisiveness. This has not meant that most successful people rush impulsively into choices that are not well considered. Rather, they spend considerable time to properly assess and track the goals associated with the choices so that they can make the best possible choices about the situations they face every day. Here are some of the strategies that you can use and employ to make better decisions about how to maximize your time and stick with the guidelines that you have set for yourself. Hold yourself accountable. Check in with yourself at the end of each day for a moment with of honest reflection. How did you measure up today compared with what your objectives you set for yourself at the beginning of the day? Did you take the shortcuts that diluted the effect of your exercise? Or did you stick with the plan and make the extra sales calls that you pledged you would do and soldier on through? There's no need to beat yourself up, but it is critical that you are examining your daily performance with a discerning eye so that you can identify where you need to make the choices and make some course corrections and the plans themselves. Also, put pen to paper. Don't be content to relegate your goals just in your head. There's something that induces discipline from articulating what it is that you want to accomplish on paper. You want detailed outlines of exactly your plans on a daily basis, a weekly, monthly, and annual. Intervals even longer if you can maintain the focus on the longer term goals. By keeping a written or electronic record of what it is you're aiming to achieve, you'll be able to more easily determine how your short term decisions are lining up with your plan. You don't have to broadcast your plan to the world on the internet or hang it out in a public space. You can just keep it in a drawer for yourself reference, reference for you. Simply knowing that you took the time and that it is there can help you stay motivated. Of course, you want to review these goals on a daily basis as well. Think through all of the options. Another component to write down all of the best and worst case scenarios that can result from the various actions that you have available to you. Many hardworking people get overly stymied and unable to take action due to the anxiety about the multitude of choices they have available to them. 
you can help prevent yourself from falling into the trap by thinking through what exactly takes place if you adopted various courses. For example, you might list out the positive and the negative repercussions that would result from leaving a stable job to go out on your own to become an entrepreneur. By preparing lists of what to expect when you pursue various alternatives, you'll give yourself a roadmap to navigate the challenges that you may have not considered otherwise. It's also important to force yourself to prioritize. The fact is, it's challenging for anyone, man or woman, to have it all in terms of the fullest success in the professional and personal lives. What parts of the schedule in your life can be abbreviated? What areas of your life could stand a little more attention and focus? A surefire method for streamlining your to-do list is to think through how you would numerically order the tasks and activities by a priority and importance. If you can only tackle a few objectives in a day, it makes most sense to make sure you are knocking off the ones that you are most determined to see completed. Make sure that you are absolutely certain which are your daily activities. Are they from the list of priorities? Or are they from the priorities of someone else? Maintain flexibility. This is also an important point. Only zealots and fanatics refuse to ever change their mind despite shifting evidence. You may find that your time and your priorities have changed and you need to re rehabilitate the approach that you've taken. Perhaps you foray into a project management that's not the best course for your professional development and you should be investing more time into improving your sales ability. Recognizing that your goals have changed and you need to shift gears is not a sign of weakness. It's a demonstration of strength. It signifies that you have the mental confidence to admit when you need to shift your thinking. Be decisive, but don't rush into changes too swiftly either. A good method for verifying that you have not merely gotten cold feet is to spend a bit of time reflecting on why you are deciding to change and what the desired outcome is. Everyone's decision-making process will vary based on their personal style and preference. But the important thing is to maintain a robust system to help you make the very best decisions possible and then stick to the reasonable roadmap that sets you up for success in meeting all of your objectives, dreams, and goals. Ask yourself, what strategies have you used to keeping yourself honest and on track and meeting your goals? Are you achieving all of the goals that you set for yourself? Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Facebook and Twitter. You'll also want to register for my web, on my website for free trainings, articles, inspiration, and more. It's TonyNewmeyer.com. And be sure to live rich each and every day.